This is Brian Heath with a quick tip from Christo Ray. Today's quick tip discusses how to praise the effort, not the person. We all know that it's good to praise people, but did you know that not all praise is good? This is particularly true for people with low self-esteem, and our students often have low, low self-esteem when working in offices, which they find very challenging. There are two types of praise. First, you can praise the person. This would be like saying, wow, Herb, you're a great singer. In this praise, we're praising who the person is. It's directed at their character. Another kind of praise is process praise, such as you did a really good job with that song. This is where we're praising what he did. This kind of praise is directed at the work, the effort, the strategies, the thought processes, etc. But what's wrong with person praise? Psychologists tell us that if we praise someone for who they are when they experience failure, which everybody does, they attribute this failure to themselves. Logically, if I experience success because I'm smart, Failure must mean I'm not smart enough or talented enough. We can actually make them worse by praising them. Because the more you use person praise on someone with low self-esteem, the more you're going to make them realize that when they fail, it's all their fault, which sends them even lower. So in this case, what can we do? When providing positive feedback and praise, focus on reinforcing those things that a student worker has control over. Their actions, their behaviors, their choices, their strategies, the approach, the thought process, and their effort. Speak about concrete things that they can act upon. In other words, praise the behavior, not the person. That's Brian Heese with your quick tip from Christo Ray. Have a great day.